Level up your labeling by using a table lookup in your label printing process. A table lookup simplifies your printing process by allowing a user to enter a key field value that references a database and automatically pulls in information for the related record onto your label template. A simple label printing process that removes manual data entry means less room for error and waste, making your labeling environment more lean. Today we're going to be looking at table lookup variables in CodeSoft 2019. So a table lookup variable is something that you want to use when you want to pull information onto the label from an external data source, such as an Excel spreadsheet, an Access database, or a server, SQL server or an Oracle database um, onto the label. So the idea behind this is that the user doesn't have to type in every piece of information from a table, for example, and they only have to enter a key piece of information to pull that data. So the first thing to understand when we're talking about table look at variables is to understand the concept of a primary key. So a primary key is something that can uniquely identify a record in a table and there's no duplicates of that key. Uh, so you can always enter the one value where you return one record based on that value. Uh, the easiest way to think of it is probably when you're thinking about a sports team and doing stats. So you think about a sports team and they have a roster. Each player has a number. Each player has a name, a height, a weight, etc. But the unique value according to that player is their number. There's no two players on the same team with the same number. So when you're taking stats for those players, you can see after a game that number 14 had 10 points. Uh, you know who number 14 is based on that primary key. You don't need to see their name listed there uh, because number 14 uniquely identifies that player um, and shows how many points they scored in that game. And so the same concept applies here in my table of just parts. The part number is unique here across this column, um, while some of the other columns, even though the name is also unique, uh, the part number is definitely the easiest for the user to type in and pull the whole record of information. Uh, whereas if you're something using something like this box, uh, there's a bunch of different records that have 100 and a bunch that have 50. So we wouldn't be able to uniquely identify that I want to print the G this label, which is why we want to use the part number, and that is the primary key of this table. So to actually create a lookup to this table, as a, instead of using a standard database connection, I want my user to be able to type in that part number and return the data on the label. So the first thing we need to do is create that primary key in the form of a when printed variable. So the when printed field is definitely the easiest one to use here uh, because the user is able to enter this at print time. But we should note too, we can use any variable type to use as our table lookup key value. So if it makes sense um, to pull a value from another table and use that as kind of a cascading table lookup, that would work great for us. But for today, we'll keep it simple. We're going to use a when printed field, call it part number or part num. And I'll put the key value here to kind of identify it for us while we're, uh, while we're working in the setup. Um, I'll put an initial value in here. We don't need to put in anything here yet. Uh, but for now, I'll put in a 1-1 one, one just so that we can return some data the first time around. Great. So our primary key value has been created. We can now start to build table lookups off of this primary key. So to do that, I'm going to come over here in my data sources, right click and hit wizard. The other option is to go up here into data source and the ribbon to table lookup and then wizard over here same destination just a different way to get there so for my connection i want to be able to use my existing data source here called toys and then the table in there is only one table but that is my parts table for setting up the database connection we have some other uh, videos and articles from our support center to help you out with that so once the connection is set up we can use it here in the table lookup and so now this is the key part here uh, no pun intended the key field is what we want to match up with our key value. So our key value is the part number, and we want to pull the record where our user entered data in the part number key field matches up with the part number column, this column here. So when selecting from this dropdown, we want to use the part num column. These are all columns from my table. So I want to use the part num because we want to pull data based on where our user entered field matches up with a value in this column. Now, down below, we can select which fields we actually want to pull onto the label 
based on our user entered data. So maybe we're interested in every single piece of data from this table, I can check all, or I can deselect and maybe I only want a few. Um, if we wanted to select part num from here, that would be okay, but it would be redundant because the user's already entering that part number. So I'm gonna leave it out for now. Say, I just want the name, uh, the image, and the units per box. So we know how many are coming onto that, uh, um, into the box. So I'll finish here. And what has now been created is three new table lookup variables. Uh, and these are dependent, uh, the value of these are dependent on my part num when printed field. So I can drag and drop each of these on the label and see that there is my Jeep and that matches up based on my initial value in my when printed field. As opposed to opening up my when printed field every single time to look at the value, I'm gonna open up the form so I'll go up here and hit form. Right click on this tab here that says document one, two, and then make a new vertical tab group. Now we can pretty easily change this value if we want to. So if we want to go to a two, two, we can see it matches up, finds that record in my table and pulls out the name based on my part number key, which is the auto boost. So I will go ahead and blow this up so we can see it a little bit clear. And then I'll do the same for my remaining variables. I'll drag and drop my image onto the label. There is the bus picture. And finally, I'll use my units per box and bring that on as a barcode. I'll stretch out that barcode a little bit so we can see it. Great. And finally, I'll put my part number key, which my user is entering up here as well. Cool. Uh, so this may not be the most aesthetic label, but it's definitely a smart label because now when we're entering the value of our part, the remaining information is populated for us. Uh, whereas in another case, if we had a user printing out this label that wasn't as intelligent as this one, they would have to type in every piece of information. They'd have to type in the part number, they'd have to type in the part name, the image, and the units per box, which just opens the door for fat fingering, mistyping, user error, uh, maybe looking at the wrong part for a moment and putting the wrong information. Uh, this guarantees that every single time we have the correct information. And even further, so if we enter a bad part number, like seven, eight, uh, the users have a visual cue saying, hey, this is, I, I did something wrong because there's no data being returned from my table. And logically in practice, that makes sense because there isn't a part number in here called seven, eight. So the table look at variables are going out saying, I'm looking for the name of the part for part number seven, eight, and that doesn't exist. So it's returning no value up here. And the same goes for the logo and the units per box. Um, the other thing we can do is set up some logic a little more in depth to make sure that no one can print a blank label, uh, but we won't get into that today. Uh, this is mostly just looking at table lookups, how they function and what you can do with them here to actually bring data onto the label. Using a table lookup in your label printing process makes your labeling process smarter and more lean. Level up your labeling today by downloading a trial of CodeSoft, LabelView, or LabelMatrix and building your first table lookup.